Okay, um, I'm running NetBeans 11 here, and I'm going to attempt to install um, JavaFX 12 to get it to work with this thing. And I do have Java from Oracle 12 installed on this system. Um, however, it's not actually on my main path. That's why, like over here, I, I often have been developing a NetBeans 8 because it actually you know recognizes my old you know uh, Java 8 you know which is still on this system and that's the only one I guess that's on the path but it's not the JDK it's just the JRE so you know so that means 8 you know uses that but I guess it has its own compiler or something in it for you know compiling but it works with Java FX that's why I've been using it um, and what I'm gonna do here um, you know works um, because I've actually done it on my other computer, which is running, you know, again, this one has the real or Oracle or 12 on it. My other computer, though, has Open JDK 12. So, um, with, you know, Java FX 12 and that means 11. So, um, I just got it working yesterday. Um, so, I'm going to try to show you. The first, you know, too, I got this set up in Nimbus style um, as an aside here. Um, so that basically if I hit preview then I'm doing swing designs it looks the same as if I were to run it so so you can see what I'm saying here <laughs> uh, otherwise this this tends to look different than this so you know this looks exactly the same no matter what I have my interface style set to, but as it turns out, this is Nimbus style, so you know, I had this set to no motif because I still have a fondness for motif from 25 years ago um, when I was on Unix. But um, anyway, <coughs> um, the point is though is that I'm going to show you how to set up JavaFX and hopefully it'll work on this. I don't know because I haven't done it yet, so uh, and I am going to be following, you know these guys website here the open JFX people you know um, but their instructions again I tried this on my other computer like a month ago and gave up because I just couldn't figure it out they're just you know I'm not that you know still pretty new to NetBeans but I was real new back then um, so I just had to give up on it and go I did all my development in Visual Studio Code when it comes to Java and you know work not working with have FX, but working with you know like most or uh, <coughs> working with um, you know AWT or Swing, um, and then more recently I've gotten back onto NetBeans eight or you know NetBeans eight over here. So uh, to try to play with Swing because that's the only thing I couldn't do on Visual Studio Code. Really. Okay, um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to try to follow these instructions here. Uh, basically, the first thing you do um, is you go in and go to the library section. Okay, and firstly, let me pause the video. Okay, now this is the directory that my um, OpenJDK. Uh, is installed. Actually, it's version 11. I guess I think on my other computer I have 12. I'm not sure. But at any rate, you know, this is version 11, so it should be less buggy. Um, so, but yeah, this is where we're going to be. Okay. But so you go to libraries. Okay. And I got to basically grab this directory by copying it. Uh, I don't know if that'll do me any good, though. Um. Okay, so a new library, uh, library name, let's call it just like they suggest, even though you can call it anything you want. Um, okay, then let's add some jars to it. That's the thing I can't stand about this. I and mean, these idiots develop software, okay, for, for developing other software. And 
do they have the ability to copy and paste a path in here? No, they don't. Not as far as I can figure out anyway. Um, the last details, you know, home that just takes us wherever. And uh, but yeah, I mean, I cannot copy and paste a fucking path in here. You know, and this isn't the only development, you know, software development program that does that. And what's this mean? What are these folders? Hell, I don't know. It doesn't look like these people have their shit together. So, one of the reasons I'm still not really totally sold on this open source stuff, although I've seen closed source stuff that's not much better, but uh, still, this is kind of, you know, really crappy. Um, so I gotta go figure out where that fucking thing is and try to hunt it down. And you guys gotta suffer through that. So, um, well, hell, I'll just pause it. You know what I'm trying to do, basically. Okay, I'm closing in on, and by the way, it has nothing to do with, you know, with the fact that I've got this, uh, you know, this particular style set up here. Um, this Nimbus style. Um, <coughs> You know, some of these bugs, I mean, another problem I have, too, is that if I, like, grab one of these tabs and rip it off, uh, good luck trying to put it anywhere. Uh, I mean, it took me 10, 15 minutes to fucking figure out how to get this output window put where I want it. Because, you know, you, you grab that tab, like, up here, but the actual window will be down here. Okay, so, you know, trying to actually get it to fucking plop down where you want it is next to impossible. Anyway, um... But yeah, as far as this folder is concerned, even version 8 does over here does the same damn thing. Um, you, know, you can't paste a path into it. Um, but at any rate, I'm closing in on it here. Um, okay. Oh, well, libraries. Wait. Okay, so select all, but do not select the zip. Supposedly that will cause a problem. But in add jar files to it and hit OK. Um, now, now the next thing they tell you to do in their little thing, you know, their little uh, guide there is to start a new project. Um, they say Java Ant and just a Java application. They said do not use like a Java FX um, because that will, I don't know, it just won't work properly or something. Um, so anyway, let's do that, and you know, I just leave it at that, and what the hell. Um, and keep in mind, I have not done this on this computer yet, and like I said, this is running the actual Java here, but I have gotten it to work with the open Java on the other computer. And this is Windows 10 Home Edition, the other computer has Windows 10 Pro on it. <coughs> so... Um, and the uh, you know the method I'm going to use here is pretty similar to the video I made too about uh, IntelliJ and setting it up, and I did that on my other computer um, about a week or two ago, and, and it worked. Um, but this is similar. Okay, so anyway, we got our little application as I suggested. Um, now that's not going to do us any good because it's not a JavaFX application. Now let me go and try to find one. Um, J text that's a open JDK, let's see. Now this is that Java T point, which is okay. I mean they've got okay tutors. It's um trying to learn Java with it. Um it's not great though, their explanation's lacking, their English is kind of broken in a lot of areas, but it's still it's not a bad set of tutors, you know. Um I, I wouldn't advise that it's your only tutors, but it's it's not bad. Some of the stuff's a little dated, but most of it seems to work, believe it or not. I don't know if it's a testament to Java or their tutors or what, but, um, okay, but, yeah, let's see if I can find, a, I don't know about Glow, um, I don't know, I've never tried this one, mm. I don't know if that'll be exciting, but let me see, yeah, it has, eh, it has enough in it, I, I've never, again, tried this application, so I might be taking a chance here. But I can just always copy and paste one that I know works um, into it. Um, okay, rotation example. Um, I 
you know what, let's, it's just easy enough to do, I'll just call it this. Well, ah, fuck it. I'm going to have to mess with the package thing anyway. Um, package what their name is here so um right over the java doc stuff okay now we got our red squiggly lines which means it doesn't know what the hell um java fx is um let me grab the extends application part yeah down to there semicolon or something, what do you bet? Wood main string. What the hell? Oh, I guess I forgot to, uh, well, hold on, let me try this again. I leave something out. I thought I, thought I grabbed it all, but I guess I didn't. Um, I don't know. I Extends application. Okay. All right. Good. Looks like it worked this time. I don't know why I did it wrong. Um, okay. At any rate, well, we got all these uh, squigglies here. Um, I'm not quite sure. Method does not override or implement a method because it doesn't recognize anything. That's why. Okay. Um, now, like I said, of course we we can't run this right now. I mean, it'll it'll just fuck up. Um, what you got to do, and this is what it gets really confusing, is that when they talk about properties, they mean this. They mean file project properties. Um, that's what they're actually referring to um, in a lot of this little um, this little um, guide they have. So, um, in any event, what you got to do is you got to come down to libraries, okay, and Let's see. Um, so let me pause to make sure I'm telling you right. Okay, yeah, and like you can see, you know, they, they reference properties, libraries, Java platform. Okay, um, well, they're talking about JDK 12, which I already got Java working on this. It's, that's, that's, a known, um, that's a known factor. Um, But what we need to be concerned about here is because this is in a tutor on setting JDK 12 up. Uh, I'm not even quite sure how the hell I got it to work, and this was real Java. So, um, and on the other one, I think it just recognized it too. Uh, when I installed that, means after installing Java. Um, but I can't remember for sure, but it seems like that was the case. Although my other computer still doesn't work with some of the basic. For some reason, I can't get like some of the you know, like the application I showed you earlier, the, the, you know, this, this application, I can't get that sucker to work, um, for some reason, on the other computer, it keeps throwing weird errors, but works fine on this one, but at any rate, yeah, the, the, what they're talking about here, okay, is compile class path, path, you know, libraries, compile class path, and add the library, Okay, then you got to go in here and add that JavaFX you created earlier. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to it on that section. So, if I stop out of there, voila, you know, all your, your squiggly lines disappear. So, but the thing is, we're not done yet, because you try to run this right now, build failed, you know, so it doesn't, uh, we're not done yet, basically, so, um, what you got to do, and you'll have to do this, as far as I can tell, you know, every time you create a project, so, but at any rate, you know, you got to go down here, 
God damn it. These fucking people need to fucking design a goddamn website better. This is fucking bullshit. Every time I click on this, a fucking graphic pops up. <sighs> fucking bullshit. Learn to fucking design a website, assholes. Um, let's see. Uh, application class. Okay, and they're talking about their example project here. Now this right here is what we need to do. The libraries run module path add library, and we're basically going to do the same thing. Um, going to run module path, okay, add library, and add that same set to it. I mean, it looks like you could automate this whole damn process, but we'll see. Maybe you can. I don't know. Um, <laughs> there we go again. I mean, I, this doesn't happen on other websites. These idiots have their hot spots spread all over the fucking place. Fucking god damn it. <sighs> fucking ridiculous. Um, anyway, last step, you know, is you gotta go, because it still won't run. Um, you know, we can try it. Um, I have to bring that same thing back up again, but you'll still get an error, you know. Um, so, I'm gonna go back to Project Properties. Okay, and you got to take this thing here, and you're going to be sticking it in the, you know, properties run section in the VM part of it, just like they show. You know, but they're talking about this run here. Okay, and that's why it gets a little confusing too. And again, since Windows don't exactly match, it can be you know, a little puzzling. Uh, but anyway, for good measure, I uh, also add. Um, Just like they kind of suggest here when they talk about this error, you know, you should probably add that to the path. That's what they mean. So I just put that in there. I don't know if it's necessary or not, but it might be. So um, just for good measure, it doesn't hurt, I don't think. Um, okay. Now it supposedly will run. If it doesn't, well, it's because, okay, good. Yeah, it works. So that's basically how to do it. So whoosh. You know, I'm glad to see that work because I didn't know if it would work or not. You know, this is a different version of Java and a different computer that seems to work differently, um, even for the same program. So I don't know. But anyway, right, yeah, that that basically is how you get it done on you know uh, NetBeans. And like I said, you can see how it works on Java FX or on IntelliJ too. On one of my other videos on my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel is pretty well organized. So if you actually go click on my logo you can see all the videos actually organized and that's every video I have too it's I, every, every one of them is organized into a proper category so you know you, you don't get that in a lot of YouTube channels but my, my stuff is organized I believe heavily in organization I can't stand things that are just too disorganized anyway so at any rate um, I hope that helps you um, I wish I would have had this information to go on before I I was pulling my hair out for the last couple of weeks over because um, I'm trying to learn, learn Java on top of that. So, you know, anyway.